Hey, I'm Joe DiGiulio with another quick lesson. This lesson this time is going to be on Matisse's iridescent medium, one of the favorite trick paints. This medium added to any range of Matisse color. In this case, I'm using the magenta. Uh, it's a flow-based formula. You can see that it's very viscous, very self-leveling. With the introduction of the iridescent medium, it's going to give a beautiful kind of sheen to it. I have an example right here where I've taken the South Ocean Blue and I've had the color by itself right here. Again, this is the, the iridescent medium by itself standalone. And then when you mix the color and the medium together, you get this beautiful effect right here, the shimmering mica-like effect. So with this, it's going to also, like the impasto mediums or like a gel medium, it's going to record brush stroke. It's going to be able to create peaks as if you're using a palette knife for it. But I'm just going to take a little bit of this right now, add some of it. But what I found out, what most don't think about, is it can be used to make these interesting washes when it's reduced down with some water and a little bit of the acrylic painting medium. You want to keep that painting medium in there with it so that you keep the adhesion properties together. Mix a little bit with this palette knife. And you can see how it goes that there is very minimal color shifting between the color itself and the dried product. So again, you can take the medium and use it standalone and glaze over the top of it. You can take it and mix it like I'm doing right here with the magenta to create this shimmering, beautiful color. Now it can be applied either with brush stroke and hopefully you can see that it has these beautiful shimmering effects and I believe that's the ground mica, the mica titanate that is inside of the medium that creates that kind of shimmer. Again, I'm going to use a jewel brush to do this with because it has a very rigid um, bristle and that way I can record brush strokes. If I was using something like a, a Vermeer brush or a, or, or a red uh, a red sable brush, something of that nature, it would uh, be more of a loose brush and would not record the brush strokes as well. So I want a little bit firmer, more spring brush to do that with. But you can see, you can get the actual brush effects from it. It will record palette knife or kind of like spackled or in a brush technique. So using the iridescent medium is interesting in that you can create these interesting shimmering effects. But also, you can take it, add a little medium, and it always works better on a dark substrate. What we'll do is take a little bit of the medium, and this time I'm going to add a little water, a little medium, And then I'm going to thin it down with a little bit of the acrylic painting medium. What the acrylic painting medium is going to be used in lieu of water to reduce the viscosity of the medium. By using that, it keeps the adhesion properties of the medium in line. What I mean is that if you use too much water and mix it with the paint in order to create a wash, what will happen is that the paint, when it dries, will not retain the properties to actually adhere, and over time, over the years, that paint could crust up and crack off. By using the binding agent that the acrylic painting medium is, it allows you to reduce the viscosity, make it flow more to create that wash you want. So I can do by itself, and you can see as I move that canvas around how you're going to get that shimmer. Now as it dries too, again, you see this effect. So you could do this straight out of the jar. You can reduce it with a mixture of water and the acrylic painting medium. It can be just glopped on too. Or you can mix it with color. 
So you have a very large range. You're not just going from just color, but you can actually take some away and it has a lot of blending possibilities. Medium by itself, mixed with color, or reduced for a glaze. So you have a very wide range of effects. Now I could actually take and blend that down. If I let that dry, I could come back with another color. And it's best to use a paint film that is going to be of a translucent nature because it's going to lend itself to glazing a lot more. And when I say glaze, it's just meaning putting a very transparent coat over the top of whatever you're painting. Now, because I'm using the black gesso, it allows that shimmer to really pop out. And so that's exactly what we want to try to achieve when we use that iridescent medium. Again, the MM24 iridescent medium is another really interesting Matisse product, and you can get this online at jerrysartorama.com. I'm Joe DiGiulio. Thanks for stopping in.